Core 1, practice paper 1, question number 3. So in this we have the whole question, the same as on your question paper. On separate diagrams, sketch the graphs of this and on a separate graph that. So let's look at part A. So we need to appreciate that this is going to be a parabola, and a parabola is going to look something like that. But we need to know where it cuts or touches the x-axis, and where it cuts or touches the y-axis. Now this can be done without any working out whatsoever. But whatever you do, you need to be thinking about where does it cut the x-axis. Now it cuts the x-axis when y equals 0. In other words, when this equals 0. When this equals 0. In other words, you've got the answer of x equals minus 4 and x equals minus 4. This, in fact, tells you that it doesn't cut through the x-axis, but actually just touches it. So it's going to touch the x-axis at minus 4. As it's a sketch, you don't have to put numbers all the way along the axes, as long as you label the important place. So my parabola is going to touch the x-axis there. Now we also need to consider about it cutting the y-axis, so it cuts y-axis when x is 0. Now when x is 0 you're going to get 4 squared which is 16. In other words y equals 16. So again we didn't number this axis as long as we put a point and we label it like that. That is plenty good enough for a sketch of that graph. All of this I admit can be done in your head but I quite honestly find that I can write it down and think it through almost as quick. In fact, sometimes quicker than if I sit thinking about it. Let's look at sketch B. So again, we need the X and Y axes. And we need to show on, my, on, the, on the sketch important information. Now, if we take the graph of Y equals it, x plus 4 all squared and add k to it that means the whole of this graph this parabola is going to move up the page k places so we should know that this is a translation of this graph this is exactly the same graph as this translated k units up the page so if i just label this point as minus 4 this point here is 16 and I indicate that graph and if I now label this point K so that will now be the position of the parabola after it's been translated up the page K units so I'd also label this point here as 16 plus K with all this labelling, I'm sure I'll get all my marks. Let's look at the marking for this question. So there's two marks here, and it's obviously showing where it touches the x-axis and showing where it cuts the y-axis. And there's two marks here, so somehow or other indicating this moved up the page k and this cutting through at k plus 16. So there we have question number three. If you'd like to obtain the video going through the whole of this paper, and in fact it will be a set of three papers, so you'll be able to buy all three videos from mathtutor.biz, www.mathtutor.biz. Do visit the site, it'll be nice to hear from you.